If you've ever considered moving to Spain and you're wondering how much it costs to live in Barcelona, this is the video for you. With everything from food and fiestas to rent and siestas. We're gonna cover it all right here in this guide. Let's go. Wow! I finally got the autofocus working and I'm so happy. Okay, here's what we're gonna cover in this guide. The cost of rent, food, leisure, activity, healthcare, entertainment, bills, and utilities. Okay, number one, the cost of rent. When it comes to finding a place to live in Barcelona, there are many options available. Whether you're looking for a share house, an entire apartment to yourself, or a two bedroom apartment out of the city, there are many options to discover. There's a massive difference in neighborhood, the amount of bedrooms, and style of apartment that you're looking for. Keep in mind that a lot of the apartments in the inner city are quite old and finding modern renovated apartments can be a little bit of a challenge. It's good to be flexible just to keep your options open. So is rent expensive in Barcelona? That depends highly on you, your preferences and your budget. It can be done cheaply but it depends on the area and where you're looking for. A two-bedroom apartment in Barcelona can cost anywhere between 1,100 euros and 1,600 euros. These rates can be more expensive if you're looking for an apartment that's completely furnished or in a really nice neighborhood like San Gervasi or La Champla. The typical studio apartment goes anywhere between 800 euros and 1,100 euros. In recent years, both accommodation and rental prices have soared in Barcelona. In the five years that I've been living here, I've seen the city absolutely go wild. Okay, so when I arrived, standard room rates were anywhere between 300 euros and 600 euros, and now you'll find it anywhere upwards of 400 euros. As with any big city, the further you go outside of the city center, the cheaper it will be so if you're a budget traveler or you're looking to move here on a short on a short budget and you're looking to move here on a tighter budget you can consider neighborhoods like Gracia, Sagrada Familia, Pobleno, Les Cortes, Saria and Poble Sec. Choosing the right neighborhood is extremely important in Barcelona there are certain areas which can be a little bit dodgy and not to everyone's taste if you're quite a cautious wary person maybe avoid La Mina and El Roval. Personally I I live in Raval and I fucking love it. But I definitely know that it's not everyone's style. Also keep in mind if you choose to live in the Gothic Quarter or Elborn, you can expect a lot of noise at night. So if you're someone that wakes up easily or has trouble getting to sleep, keep this in consideration. Here's a really quick breakdown of what you can expect in each neighborhood. So, El Roval, super multicultural, a big mix of everything, but a little bit more on the grungy side. Oh gosh, I can't pronounce this one. El Born, El Born, El Born. Elborn. Think labyrinth-like streets, super eerie, super old, super cool. Same with the Gothic Quarter as well. Gracia, it's a bit more hipster, it's got a nice family vibe to it as well. Poble Sec, a bit closer to the inner city but more towards Montjuic. So you've got a really nice mix of mountain and city. San Gervasi, super luxe, high-end. That's definitely the spot where a lot of wealthy people live here in Barcelona. La Champla, you can expect beautiful modernism architecture. Let's of classy places also a bit of mix of old and new and this is the major gay district as well so if that is your scene this is definitely where you want to be to get a good idea of the housing market in Barcelona you can look at websites like Badi, Idealista, Spot a Home and Abitaglia sometimes if you book through these apps you can ditch the agency fee but usually when you're trying to look for an apartment here in Barcelona you have to go through an agent which means that not only will you be paying the first month up front but you'll also have on top of that the agency fee and and a fianza a bond there you go that's the case if you're looking for a one or two bedroom apartment otherwise if you're sharing usually you'll just pay the first month's rent up front and the fianza number five cost of bills and utilities in most cases the cost of utilities here in Barcelona is included in your rent price if that's not the case then there's no need to fret because most utilities here in Barcelona are quite affordable and won't have a significant impact on your finances generally speaking the cost of water gas electricity heating and Wi-Fi will be anywhere between between 110 euros a month to 150 euros a month. Obviously it's important to note that the overall cost will depend highly on your usage. If you're someone that loves to crank the aircon on lobster styles in the summertime, well obviously you can expect to pay more. And lastly you can also find cheap phone plans for as little as 10 to 15 euros. You can find these more affordable plans with companies like Simio, Orange and Vodafone. Wow that sunshine is really coming out and it is 
I'm blinding. <sighs> I can do this. Okay, number three, cost of public transport. Transportation in Barcelona is well connected and very affordable. The entire city is connected with buses, trains, metro, the funicular, and trams too. There is also a modern and efficient bicycle sharing system, which was previously known as Bicing. Now it's called Smo. Smo? Small. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> oh my God, I just hit myself in the nose. Just quickly back to the bicycles. On that note, Barcelona is a cyclist utopia. We have more than 200 kilometers of dedicated bike lanes. This is extremely convenient if you want to get around and you don't want to f around on the metro or public transport. Getting around on bicycle is one of the best ways to see the city. Think fresh air, sunshine and beautiful weather practically year round. You can navigate the network of public transport here in Barcelona with my entire guide, which I'll leave down in the link below. Here are the average costs for a transport ticket here in Barcelona. A one-way ticket costs about two euros and 30 cents. A T casual ticket, which is valid for 10 journeys, costs 11.35. A T familiar ticket, which is valid for eight journeys and is basically a family ticket, costs 10 euros. A T usual ticket, which is basically a one month pass, costs around 40 euros. And a three month ticket can cost anywhere between 140 to 150 euros. Number four, cost of healthcare in Barcelona. So the healthcare system in Spain is free for residents. Yes and yes and yes. It is widely considered one of the best healthcare systems globally, providing universal coverage to eligible people. Here's everything you need to know about getting free healthcare in Spain. Expats in Barcelona can get free healthcare as long as they are under 26 years old, student, employed and have a social security number, state pensioners, pregnant women, children and have an EHIC, a European healthcare insurance card. You can register for Spain's public healthcare system by obtaining a Spanish identity card which is also known as a NIA. The healthcare card is known as the TSI, which stands for Tarjeta Sanitaria Individual. Expats prefer to have private health insurance. This is because the public healthcare system is quite slow, whether you're waiting for a surgery, an optometrist appointment, the long waiting times can be a bit of a drain. The monthly cost of private health insurance can range anywhere between 50 euros a month and 200 euros a month, depending on your chosen plan. Spain's most prominent healthcare providers include Allianz Insurance, April International, Cigna Global and Globality Health. Number four, cost of leisure, activities and entertainment in Barcelona. Okay, so moving away from the business aspect of things, we're going to get stuck into the fun stuff. Spain is known for parties, food, culture, events, festivals. This country goes off and Barcelona is no exception to that rule. So if you come here, you can expect a wide range of activities, whether it's outdoor hiking or four day long festivals, whatever your choice, there's some here for you. So that brings us to our next point. What is the cost of leisure in Barcelona? Whether you want to spend a couple nights a week eating tapas, an afternoon storming through the thrift stores, every morning at your local specialty coffee shop, or testing out the city's mouth-watering craft beers, prices can sure add up quickly. Fortunately, enjoying entertainment and leisure here in Barcelona doesn't have to be expensive. And even if you're on a budget and you want to enjoy the dining scene, it doesn't mean that you have to make any sacrifices. Spain has the menu del día, which is menu of the day basically it usually includes a first course a main meal and either a dessert or drink usually the menu del día will go anywhere between 12 euros and 15 euros a standard three course meal at a mid-range restaurant will cost anywhere upwards of 25 euros per person not including drinks there are many options to double between and I'll leave a link to my entire guide down below next up the gyms this is my jam anyone that knows me knows I love to be active whether it's yoga yoga, hiking, dancing, boxing, hit classes, spinning classes, running, you name it, I'm f***ing there. I live for this. Barcelona is a city of contrasts. You'll find people that love to party 24 hours a day to people that are out at 6 a.m., running up a mountain, sprinting back down, then going to the gym, and then later going to a yoga class at night. I definitely fall into the second category. How much does the gym cost in Barcelona? This depends on what type of an experience you're looking for. One of the most affordable gyms here is Viva Gym, and that goes for around 30 euros per month. The more nicer gyms will cost anywhere between 80 to 90 euros per month. These ones include Metro Metropolitan Gym, Holmes Place and many others as well. What I have recently gotten onto this year, which has been a game changer for me, is Urban Sports. This is basically an application that allows you to mix up all your activities and if you're someone that likes to have a fantastic fusion of 
boxing one day, hit classes the next day, spinning that day, wrestling that day, jujitsu that day, whatever the fuck you're after, this is the best option easily. Okay, let's get into the fun stuff. Clubbing, cinema, and blah, blah, blah. If you're a movie buff, you're in luck. There's plenty of cinemas here in Barcelona. The standard movie ticket will go anywhere between seven euros and 10 euros. Fiestas. <laughs> This is obviously a popular one for many. Festival tickets go anywhere between 40 euros and 50 euros. Sometimes it can be a bit more depending on the type of event and how many days. One of the biggest parties here in the city is brunch, which is held every Sunday throughout the year for anyone that loves techno and electronic music. These tickets can go anywhere between 20 euros and 50 euros, depending if you get early bird, um, second release, third release, etc. That's another thing about Spain. There's plenty of festivals that are free, for example, La Merced in September, Fiesta de Gracia in August, and our last point for pleasure in Barcelona, clubbing. <laughs> this city goes hard. Whatever type of music you're into, there's definitely a club for you. Whether you like rock and roll, hardcore techno, minimal, there's something here, no joke. The biggest way to save money when living in Barcelona is to buy club tickets online beforehand. If you rock up to the club at 2 a.m., you can expect to pay anywhere between 20 to 30 euros upwards. Some of my favorite clubs in the city are Les Enfants, Macarena, and Input. Obviously, these are all techno clubs, so if you're not into that, then probably don't give it a go. Number six cost of food to truly experience life out here in Barcelona you've got to dive into the culinary scene Catalan cuisine is absolutely amazing it's flavor packed it's got a Mediterranean twang it's everything that you could really dream for the city's gastronomy scene is dominated with fresh vegetables lots of fish and seafood and classics like jamón ibérico which is shaved ham on average grocery shopping for one person in Barcelona costs anywhere between 150 euros to 220 euros per month that that depends on what type of food you're eating and where you're shopping. For me, I know I definitely spend a lot more than that. I'm on a massive juicing hype right now. I'm juicing 24-7. Carrot juice, apple juice, ginger juice, any type of juice, I've made it. I'm a juice freak. I also like to shop at supermarkets like Casa Amedier or Veritas. If you're looking for good quality vegetables, fruits, uh, you name it, you'll definitely find it here. Otherwise, popular international stores include Carrefour, Mercadona, Lidl and there's a few more that I can't remember right now. YOLO! Okay, let's give you a quick rundown of the standard cost of local grocery items. A 1.5 liter water bottle is around 70 cents, depending on the brand. An 8 liter water bottle, which is also known as a garrafa, will go anywhere between 1 euro 20 to 2 euros 50, depending on the brand. A bottle of local beer can be around 1 euro. One liter bottle of milk can be anywhere upwards of 1 euro and 25 cents. A baguette usually costs around 1 euro. 500 grams of pasta is usually about 120. One kilogram of rice, 100. Oh my god, 100. It costs 100 euros for one kilogram of rice, guys. Rice is f if you come to Spain, import your own rice. Just kidding. A one kilogram bag of rice usually goes for around one euro and 30 cents. 250 grams of local cheese, two euros upwards. One kilogram of lemons, 500 kilograms. Oh my God, 500 kilograms. Ah! Sometimes it is so hard to speak. I got this. One kilogram of oranges, one euro 50. 500 grams of lemons, one euro 70. 250 grams a packet of mixed lettuce will be anywhere between one to two euros. One kilogram of tomatoes, two euros. So I haven't mentioned meat or fish just because I'm vegetarian. I cannot give you an accurate price. I'm sorry um, I'm not sure if it's expensive and I can't tell you off the bat But I have written about it in one of my in-depth blogs, which I'll leave down in the link below Okay, let's wrap this up. So now you're familiar with the cost of living here in Barcelona Let's close this up with some common questions. Is 1,000 euros enough for a month in Barcelona? Yes, you can live in a shared apartment for less than 1,000 euros per month. This cost includes groceries, rent, public transport and a fair few leisure and entertainment activities. Obviously this cost varies depending on the area you live in so if you're going to be living in more affordable areas like El Raval or really far outside of the city center then you'll be totally sweet with 1,000 euros per month. Oh my god there is a spider on my camera. 
Wow, guys, that was an albino spider. I've never seen that before. Cool. How much do you need per month to live in Barcelona? To live comfortably in Barcelona, I'd say that you need at least between 1,200 and 1,500 euros per month. This includes rent, public transport, healthcare, groceries, leisure, and entertainment. Ooh, what is the highest paying job in Barcelona? Wow, the people want to know. The people want to know. In Catalonia's capital city, the highest paying jobs include surgeons, radiologists, judges, chief financial officers and chief executive officers. When compared to other European cities, I think it's worth mentioning that Barcelona is a very affordable city to live in. The local food and wine are reasonably priced and you definitely don't have to break the bank to enjoy the delicacies. The public health care facilities and public transportation systems are well developed and even though you may experience delays or frustration at times, it's definitely enough to get by. So with all things aside, the total cost of living in Barcelona comes down to your salary, your personal preferences, your spending habits and your lifestyle. If you're considering moving to Barcelona, stay tuned because we're going to be whipping out an entire series on everything you need to know about living in the city. Uh, life update. I'm considering getting a fringe. Not sure if it's a crisis decision. Ah yes, the cockroach infestation in my house is gone! Yeah! yeah! Living with finger-sized creepy crawlies that have abdominal muscles really can freak you out. Exciting news! Next week I'm off to Morocco and it'll be my first time there. I'm so excited, honestly. I've realized that my eyebrows are uneven. No problems, that's about it. If you're keen for more Barcelona content, stay tuned. Ciao!